we're gonna make a chocolate chia seed pudding. Um, I really like making chia seed pudding because for me, I eat a lot of vegetables for dinner and this is kind of my way of making sure that I get enough plant-based protein. And chia seed puddings are pretty simple to make and they're great to have in the fridge so it's easy um, to have a great dessert on a weeknight. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually use a plant-based milk. I'm gonna use an oat milk. I'm gonna um, add a little sweetness with maple syrup. Then we're gonna have a dark chocolate. Dark chocolate is really high in antioxidants. And then we're gonna use the chia seeds, which will be the thickening agent, as well as our protein source. So let me show you how to do this. It's very, very simple. We're gonna take our um, plant-based milk. I'm using an oat milk. I like oat milk because it's a very mild, mild flavor. I'm gonna add some maple syrup. So this will add the sweetness to it. And you wanna heat this up just till it's warm enough to melt the chocolate. So I'm gonna move this over to the stove. You could also microwave this if you have a microwave. So once it starts simmering on the sides, I wanna go ahead and take it off the heat. I'm gonna pour this into my bowl. I'm gonna add my dark chocolate. And I just wanna give this a minute to melt that dark chocolate. You'll see this is starting to get darker as the chocolate melts. Also the dark chocolate, as it cools, it will actually start to thicken this up a little bit as well. During the holiday season, I make a vegan ganache with a plant-based milk, dark chocolate, and add a little bit of sugar to it. And I use that to actually frost some holiday cookies with. So this always reminds me of making a vegan ganache at this stage. Right, now I'm gonna add my chia seeds. You wanna make sure that they're all moist. And for even for people who don't like to cook or know how to cook, I can't think of anything easier to make than chia seed pudding because this is all we're gonna do. It's all been incorporated together now those chia seeds are gonna start softening up and blooming. And what typically happens is you wanna come back about every five minutes for at least 10 minutes. So at least twice you wanna come and you wanna stir this and make sure that the chia seeds get mixed in with the liquid. Because what will happen is it kind of becomes a wrath on the top. The chia seeds become very, very thick and then there's still some liquid on the bottom. So what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna lay some saran wrap over this and leave it just like this and put it in the fridge for five minutes and then we're going to come back and stir this. So it's been five minutes. We've taken this out of the fridge um, I mean, I'm going to stir it and I want you to see, you can see that there's, it's getting quite thick just at the top and it's still a little liquid on the bottom. So what we want to do is we want to make sure and stir that one more time so that this is going to make the pudding a more even consistency. And you notice I just leave my whisk right in here because I'm gonna stir it for five minutes, put it back in the fridge for five more minutes, stir it one more time before I actually put it in my glasses or you can even put it in a jar and refrigerate it. All right, so it's, it's now for, it's been 10 minutes, we're going to stir our chocolate chia seed pudding one more time. You can see that it's well incorporated. And what I like to do at this stage is actually, I'm going to pour this into um, martini glasses. You can also use jars. It looks really nice in jars as well. Just working in restaurants, I think sometimes desserts in a, in a glass look very classy. So I would divide this among four glasses. The other thing that's nice about martini glasses is they're actually quite small so it makes it look like you're getting a very large serving. 
when it actually, you're controlling your portions. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is put this, put these back in their fridge till they're chilled completely through. You can see there's still just a little bit of steam coming on the sides of the glass there because it's still a little warm. So you want this completely chilled and then right before you serve it, we're gonna put fresh raspberries on top. Our chocolate chia seed pudding has now been chilled. You can leave it in the fridge uh, for a couple of hours. You can even leave it in the fridge overnight. And then just before you serve it, what I like to do is take some fresh raspberries and put those on top. I always wanna make sure though that they can see that there's chocolate pudding underneath. I love the combination of chocolate and raspberries. I think it's a very elegant flavor combination. I love raspberries, so I'm always about getting as many raspberries on into something as possible. Okay. And there you have a very elegant dessert for a kidney patient, but it's also very healthy and kidney friendly.